Hopeless dweeb Elliot Richards is granted seven wishes by the devil to snare Allison, the girl of his dreams, in exchange for his soul. This is Bedazzled, a fantasy romantic, comedy film released in 2000. Spoiler alert! While I might give you my opinion on the film, this is not a substitute for watching it for yourself. Links to the film are in the description. Elliot Richards is a geeky and overeager man working a dead-end job in a San Francisco call center. He has no friends and his co-workers who manipulate him, know he will do anything for acceptance. He has a crush on his colleague, Allison Gardner, but lacks the courage to ask her out. After Elliot is ditched at a bar while trying to talk to Allison, he says that he would give anything for Allison to be with him. Satan, in the form of a beautiful woman, offers to give Elliot seven wishes in return for his soul. As a test, he wishes for a Big Mac and Coke. Satan takes him to McDonald's and places the order. Elliot has to pay for it, because there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. After taking Elliot to her nightclub in Oakland, Satan convinces Elliot to sign her contract and delivers further wishes. Elliot wishes to be rich and powerful with Allison as his wife. Satan makes him a Colombian drug lord whose wife despises him. Satan points out that he never wished for Allison to love him. Secondly, Elliot wishes to be emotionally sensitive, but Satan makes him so sensitive he spends much of his time crying over how beautiful the world is and constantly asks Allison whether he has hurt her. Allison says she wants to be with a man who is strong and shallow and leaves Elliot for a man who is strong, rude and completely different from the romantic and emotionally sensitive Elliot. Elliot then wishes to be a superstar athlete who would be a woman magnet. Satan makes him a seven-foot-plus tall basketball star, but also gives him a small, the thing and equally low IQ, which causes Allison to lose interest in him. He then wishes to be intelligent, witty and well-endowed. Satan grants this by making him a famous writer whom Allison falls in love with. When they arrive at Elliot's home to make love it is revealed that Elliot is gay and living with a male partner. Lastly, Elliot wishes to be President of the United States to try to improve the world. Satan makes him Abraham Lincoln at Ford's Theater on the night of his assassination. After each wish is renounced, Elliot meets with Satan and she blames him for not being specific enough. Eventually he returns to work, thinking about what he should do with the last two wishes. Satan appears, pointing out that on their first meeting he asked for a Big Mac and Coke, although she had stated that it was a test wish. Elliot loses his patience and storms out of his office. Elliot visits a church looking for God's help, where he briefly confesses to a priest who seems sympathetic. However, after being asked whether he thinks asking Satan for a Big Mac and Coke counts as a wish, the priest has Elliot arrested. The sergeant books him and Satan, dressed as a police officer, throws him in a cell, telling him that she does like him and it would not hurt to have her as a friend. Elliot's cellmate, tells him that he cannot possibly sell this soul as it belongs to God, and although Satan may try to confuse him, in the end he will realize who he truly is and what his purpose is. Elliot questions the man as to his identity, but the response is simply a really good friend. Elliot asks Satan to cancel their contract. When Satan refuses, Elliot states he will not use his final wish. Satan teleports them to hell, where she transforms first into a black-horned monster, then into a giant. When Satan pushes him to make a final wish, Elliot wishes that Allison could have a happy life. Satan sighs and Elliot falls into the depths of hell. Elliot wakes up on a marble staircase, wondering if it is heaven. Satan tells him that it is a corkhouse and that a selfless wish voids the contract, so he keeps his soul. Elliot admits that despite her manipulation of him, he has come to like Satan and regards her as a friend, something she does not object to. She replies that heaven and hell can be found on earth. It is up to humans to choose. Elliot asks Allison out, only to learn that she is already dating somebody. He continues with his life, but with a better understanding of who he is. Later Elliot is confronted by Bob, one of his co-workers, who makes fun of his attempts to be cool. Elliot loses his temper and grabs Bob by the shirt, but lets him go, simply saying, nice talking to you. A threatening look sends his other co-workers scurrying. At home he meets a new neighbor, Nicole de la Rousseau, whose looks and personality resemble Allison's and has dressing styles similar to his. He offers to help her unpack and they begin a relationship. While the two walk along a boulevard, 
Satan and Elliot's cellmate, both dressed in white, are seen playing chess. Ah, such a great comedy romance movie, and makes you think twice about some life decisions and the moral side of life. What are your thoughts about the movie? If you liked this video, here are some other movie recaps to check out. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this one. Please comment on what should we watch next and I will see you in the next video.